Hey everyone, this is Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. Today we're going to be doing another beauty retouching tutorial and we're going to be using the photography of John Covington. You can check out his photography work at jcov.net. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be retouching the lips on this model. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what the original was like before we did any retouching to the lips. Now you can see that we did a little more retouching than just the lips. Um, the image was um, a little flat and a little dull despite the lighting. I'm going to zoom out just so you can get a better feel for what the image was like overall. It's a really great photograph and for what it is it has a lot of um, you know good highlights and contrast and it's nothing that you know you couldn't obviously take care of in post with camera raw for the most part but when you zoom in particularly on the face, you see that, you know, the lips are, you know, just feeling a little dull. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these lips stand out. We're going to make them, you know, a little more vibrant, luscious, full. And uh, we're going to do that with some very simple tools. We're going to use uh, hue and saturation, and we're going to use dodge and burn. Um, there are some things in these lips where you may want to go and do um, some cloning or healing, but primarily I'm just going to focus on how you take them from you know feeling a little more dull and washed out to looking a little something more like this. And you can see that I really, for the most part, for the lips just used um, two layers, and um, I didn't have to do a whole lot overall to this photo because it was just so very well done. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to um, start with just actually um, adding some more color to these and we're going to use a technique that was similar to how we change hair color in Photoshop, how we change eye color in Photoshop and we're going to create a selection and we're going to go into quick mask mode for that. I'll do a tutorial specifically on quick mask mode at another time uh, but you can just follow along. We're going to use a shortcut Q and select a brush and in this case I prefer to use a soft brush. The area that we're creating our mask on is going to be what gets highlighted here in red and when we're done we're going to have to invert that. Um, it's going to be better to zoom in here for a little bit of control. I'm going to make my brush size a bit smaller and we're just going to get in the areas that we want. And obviously if you happen to use a, a Wacom tablet when doing your retouching um, things will go better and faster for you. Now, in this case, I don't want to reconstruct the lips. Uh, you could do that with the liquify tool. Um, my friend Andy showed me how to do that. Um, and it's also in the book Photoshop Studio Secrets. I also believe uh, that Manny Photo has a tutorial um, on that. But in this case, we don't need to do any intense photo manipulation to this image. We're going to focus on um, just bringing out the you know natural qualities in this image by improving it a little. All right. That actually looks uh, pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and get out of quick mask mode with just shortcut Q again. Makes our selection. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a select tool and I'm just going to feather this just a little bit. Feather this by half a pixel. And then using um, Control Shift Alt, um, sorry, Control Shift I, Command Shift I for those of you using Mac, we're going to invert our selection. And then we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. And you can see that that gives us a mask where we can actually control the saturation of these lips. Um, what makes them dull is the fact that they're desaturated to begin with. 
So just pulling the slider in this direction already improves them um, significantly. But I don't feel that that uh, blend, like if this was lipstick or lip gloss, really goes with this particular um, model. And I want to get it a little darker as well. So I'm just going to slide uh, these sliders the way that I want until I create the look that I want. And I think that array looks significantly better. All right, that actually looks pretty good. Now, theoretically, and let's just drag this up to our layer group. Theoretically, you could just leave it at that because that already makes a pretty significant difference. But I'm not entirely satisfied um, with that. I want to darken some areas toward the bottom there. I want to add a few highlights, and I just kind of want to even this out a bit. So I'm going to create a new layer, and in our dodge and burn tutorial, you already learned how to do this. We're going to use Shift F5 to create a 50% gray fill layer. We're going to set the blend mode on this to overlay. And then we're going to use the dodge and burn tools. Shortcut O for the dodge tool, and you can also hold down Shift to uh, switch it back to the burn tool. Um, you can actually toggle back and forth between them by using Alt, uh, which is usually my preference. So I'm going to start with a little bit of dodge right there. And then I'm going to actually switch over to the burn tool. And I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. Now, because you've created a mask with regard to the um, the layer that we've used on the lips, you can go ahead and you can adjust that as needed if you feel like you've missed any areas or that there was too much feathering or if you want to clean anything up, take anything out. Um, and you can just work with that the way you need to. But that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, there's not really a lot to this technique, but it makes a significant difference in the uh, quality of your overall image, as you can see here. Huge difference. And this doesn't just work for lips. You can apply this really to um, more or less anything that you feel is um, desaturated or that you want to adjust the colors to. As I've stated earlier, you can use this even to change the color of hair or eyes um, on your model. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. Well, that's it for this Photoshop CC tutorial. Uh, this was Beauty Retouching on the Lips. Again, this photograph was by uh, John Covington. You can check out his stuff on jcub.net. Um, as usual, you can check out my stuff on robertoblake.com. And um, just let me know if there's any tutorials that you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next Photoshop CC tutorial video. All right, thanks for watching.